No one has all the answers in relationships. In fact, relationships can be complicated and confusing. It is the reason people are advised to wait until they are older. According to WebMD, every relationship has its ups and downs. Successful couples have learned how to manage the bumps and keep their love life going. No one is perfect. Finding who you want actually means seeing them as perfect for you. It is the only way you can actually be with anyone. But then, a lot of people fall in and out of love on a daily basis. They are so bad at relationships, they just keep hurting themselves. How then do you know if you can handle the relationship or not? In today's video, I'm going to share with you 5 signs you cannot handle a relationship. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel for more awesome videos such as this one. 1. You still contact your ex. This is actually a big problem. If you are still talking to your ex, you have not moved on and become free to try again with someone else. The funny thing is that jumping into a relationship right after a breakup is a bad idea. You will likely treat the new guy or girl as the rebound person and lose interest once you have healed. No one deserves to be kicked to the curb that way. If it were you, would you be happy? I'm guessing no. A relationship is a big deal really. There is commitment and a whole lot of sharing. This can be undermined if your partner discovers you're still speaking to your ex. To them, they will always feel like a replacement, not someone special and this is bad for the two of you. They may also suspect that you discussed your secrets with your ex. This will naturally make them uncomfortable and they may start to withdraw. Telling them that your ex is a family friend won't cut it. You should draw your clear boundaries so that they know they take priority in your life over your ex. But this, of course, applies when you are over your ex and just being misunderstood by your new boyfriend. A lot of time, you may not even be over your ex. What do you do? You can't go back to him or her because that will be humiliating. Or at the same time, you can afford to look like you're miserable. This may be the sole reason you are in another relationship and quite frankly, it is very unfair. You are not being mature about things. People break up all the time. Choose your next line of action carefully. 2. You don't want to spend time with your partner. It is actually funny that you want a relationship but you don't want what is involved. It is actually funny that you want a relationship but you don't want what is involved. There are a lot of people like that. Maybe you just like staying indoors and binge watching movies more than anything else. When you are not working, you are binge watching. Does this sound like you? Well, it may be time you got up from bed and lived a little. People who do this are usually freelancers who work from home, make cool cash and then lie in bed all day long. That type of living is not the best though. There are so many opportunities out there. There are freelancers who pulled in six figures each year from their work and cleared their room to create space for a small workstation. You may not be looking at your freelancing as a serious job, but you should at least have juicy offers while you are at it. Relationships are typically intrusive. Your partner will likely tell you stuff about themselves and then expect you to do the same. If you don't, they will either feel you are not really interested in them or try making other conversations. It can be scary letting people into your space. It's okay to be afraid. Many people who let people in have gotten hurt, so it's alright to be a bit scared. But then, if you never give your partner a chance, you would never know if they will hurt you or not. Thinking only of negative possibilities serves to hinder you from leaving. To love someone is actually to make yourself vulnerable while trusting your loved one not to hurt you. You need to give people a chance. If you don't spend time with them, how would you know how amazing they actually are? 3. You are still hurting from a breakup. Breakups can be hard. Some people spend months trying to break up. When they eventually do, it takes a long time for both parties to heal. Funny enough, even after the breakup, Couples who have split may still come back together. According to Simply Love Together, a relationship can work after a breakup even after multiple breakups. When this happens though, each party has to be careful. If they split again, it will still hurt all over again. 
Relationships are not always straightforward. Couples can break up for so many reasons. One of the reasons can be that the other party is toxic. The other reason can be that they are drug addicts or abusive. Whatever the reason is, they are mostly always strong. Although some people break up simply because they are bored, getting involved with such a person can be such a heartache. Imagine dating someone for 5 years and he just works out because he's bored. Such people are truly monsters. When such a person leaves you, it is understandable to feel that all men are like that. You may even judge other innocent men too harshly. Imagine yelling at someone for taking his sister's urgent call during a date because you suspect it's a side chick. Other more stressful episodes may follow as well. Try taking some time off from dating to get back to normal. It can take as long as it needs. But if you are still feeling hot, you are in no condition to handle a relationship. Eat well. Listen to great music. Music does have a soothing effect. You can also start an exercise routine and join a community of people who exercise together. Do the things that make you happy. That way, your mind will stay away from the things that make you sad. 4. You don't discuss personal stuff with the person you want. Talking about your love for dogs or pigeons may actually turn out to be a more refreshing conversation in a relationship than your love for your career. A lot of young people are career driven. I mean, who isn't? But a lot of people don't know how to have a genuine conversation. People you date want to get to know you. They want to know if you prefer chicken to beef and dislike pepper. They want to know whether you listen to Ed Sheeran and sing in the shower. Those little things make all the difference. But when you build a wall around yourself because you don't want to get close enough to get hot, you will get hot from loneliness. No one wants to be with who they don't really know. They will always try to get to know you. It's like a default setting. So, what do you do? It is either you let them in or you let them go. But if you keep letting them go, after a while, they will stop coming. Because the law of attraction attracts what we want. If we are scared and want to be left alone, the universe will always be making people stop coming. If you actually still want people, it is actually best you don't give them mixed signals. You may lose them that way. The best thing to do when you are not sure about anything is to close your eyes and imagine what would happen if you did what you wanted and then do it. Life is full of risks. Some are worth taking, others are not. But if you want something, you should always go for it. 5. You say your relationship won't work all the time. This is another example of using the law of attraction to get what you don't want. If you say your relationship won't work, it is exactly what will happen. It won't work. Also, saying this shows you cannot handle the relationship. Relationships come with their own challenges. Sometimes it's you and sometimes it's them. It takes two committed people to work out their differences all the time. In case you didn't know before now, a relationship is hard work. So much that some people work full time in their relationships. Just kidding. But really, you should see some people who call their partners every other minute of the day and all. Please don't do this though. If their work requires them to always be busy, you will make them tired of you. They would feel like you are bugging them. Either way, unless you don't want the relationship, don't say it won't work. Instead, say out loud that it will work. Say this irrespective of what is going on. As long as you love the person, be positive about your relationship. Saying it won't work simply because of an argument shows that you are not ready to make progress and can't handle the relationship. There is nothing wrong with not being ready at this time. You can always try when you are. What is important is that you are fine. Think about yourself and what you want all the time. This will guide you and eventually ensure you don't settle with anyone just because relationships are quite serious and shouldn't be entered into on a whim. In the end, we are happy when we choose. A relationship won't make you happy. I suggest you find yourself first.